Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make your own makeup brush holder. If you know Blair and Elle, Juicy Star 07, and All That Glitters 21, they own their own website called glitzyglam.com. If you saw my recent, not recent, but um, I purchased a personalized lunch bag um, off of their website and their shipping is incredibly terrible, but their products are insanely cute. I'll put their link in the bottom bar. But they have a really adorable makeup brush holder that I always wanted to purchase. It's $15, but with $8 shipping, which is insane just for one makeup brush holder. So I decided to go to Michael's and make my own. So this is what I came up with. I really enjoy zebra prints. It, um, it's like my current obsession. If you've seen my Glitzy Glam haul video with my um, lunch bag, it's zebra print with purple, with my name in purple. And up here is just a felt, um, a felt stick-on with um, just like cute little designs. And these are like silica beads in here. And this is holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 eye brushes and one face brush. These are, the red ones are travel sized and the four in the back are full sized. The back of the makeup brush holder is um, clear. So I just did it to the front, and I think this is insanely affordable, insanely easy to do, and very cute. So if you want to watch how to make this, stay tuned. Okay, so this you will need a clear, um, like, vase. I personally like the square ones because it's easier to um, put your product that you want to stick on to here um, easier. And also you can personalize these. I just haven't gotten to personalizing mine. I think I'm just going to leave mine the way it is. But you can put your initials on the front with any kind of paper or a giant sticker you find at your craft store. So yeah. You will need a vase. You will need whatever stick sticker you want to put around the top. So uh, mine is felt fusion self adhesive like little felt thing right here and it has the peel off back so you can stick it on. A roll of adorable tuck tape, duct tape, duct tape and um, mine zebra print obviously and some crystal fill that's what mine's called it looks like this. So yes Let's just jump right into it. Oh, also a scissor because you need to cut. Okay, so this is going to be really hard to show you, but I'm going to pull off some of my duct tape just like that, and I'm going to start putting it onto my um, glass vase from the edge that you are going to start, like the edge right here. So we are going to make this go right to the tip and right to the bottom. I'm sorry that this is going to be really hard to film because I have a bad like um, filming area to like show you how to do things but just so you get the gist of it I'm going to show you like okay so this is going to be the front of my makeup brush holder. I put the duct tape right to the edge. If you go a little too far, you could always trim it afterwards and right to the bottom. So I'm going to do that all the way around to this side. Make sure it's right to the edge. and all the way. So okay, so I brought it all the way around like that but I'm not going to bring it to the back and I'm just going to take my scissors Woo! I almost whacked myself in the head with these I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip very closely to the edge like like that. I'm sorry that I can't show you guys this, but I'm just trying to help you. 
So, okay, so I snipped it really closely to the edge, and it's just all snug, and not over the edge or anything, and it's very nice. So this is step one. Step two is your felt, um, your felt sticker. So you pull off the tape, the tag on the top, and you pull out your felt thing, which is adorable. Now you are going to measure, you are going to put this along like right to the edge there and you are going to measure right to here and then you're going to snip off the excess for me I like to take off the back sticker and start sticking and then I'll cut when I'm done so I'm going to start peeling this off which is actually really complicated because it starts like um, breaking off when you get to like the curls and stuff but so I'm going to peel off a, a little part of it and I'm going to start sticking it on to my edges that I want it to be on. So I'm sorry that this is probably insanely boring for you guys, but I thought it might help. I don't know. So, I'm peeling it off and sticking it where I think it should be placed. And if you hear me not talking, I'm sure you guys can fast forward until I start talking again but so far I got it like this it's right to the edge and where I placed it where I want them so it looks like that so far and you just keep peeling back keep peeling back the sticker stuff so it becomes sticky so you can paste it down and just keep placing it where you want them and I'm almost done with this part I'm almost done. I'm sorry that this is boring you, but I hope this helps someone. <laughs> well, anywho, I unstuck all of them and I'm right to the end now. Right to the end. And I am going to snip off I'm right to the end, right there. Now I'm going to snip this off, the excess of it. So I'm going to take my scissor. Take my scissor and snip that off. Like so. So I snipped it off and this is what you have. Alright, so you're almost done, right? Alright, so if you don't want to put your initial on it or anything, all you need to do is take your clear um, crystal fill, which you can find in like the flower section of like your, your um, craft store. So, I'm going to open this up. And I think it looks really nice plain, but you can always personalize it if you feel like, with stickers or whatever you want. If you have a circuit, a cricket, you can... Um, Accu cut or Cricut cut, whatever you want off of that. And 
then all you have to do is pour in your crystals. 